Next, the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Now, let's uh, let's scroll this thing down, and we've got Butch Jones in his second year here. They went two and ten last year. Post game win expectancy thinks they probably should have won one more game. It was three point oh two and eight point nine eight, uh, but their PPA margin last year was number one thirteen, and that's even with the offense being pretty good. That defense was atrocious. Defense was number. 115 uh, PPA per drive. Now, the offense, you look at it, number 95 in PPA per drive, uh, but they were number 19 in explosive play rate. Uh, The quarterback, James Blackman, dealt with offensive line issues at Florida State. Looks like he's going to be doing the same thing at Arkansas State. And remember, he got injured and missed uh, half of the year last year. So that's why Lane Hatcher had much better numbers. They were going neck and neck trying to get the starting job between them, and Hatcher got it based not solely on an injury, but that was part of it. You do have one offensive line starter returning. That's not good. You had two other ones that had 146-plus snaps. This is not great, right? Uh, they're number 121 in returning production, by the way, overall. Number 115 on offense, number 109 on defense. And obviously the roster strength is not good. It's number 105 in the country. That's definitely not good. Um, the wide receivers, Foreman and Hunt, can be special the issue there is, will Blackman have enough time to be able to get them the ball down the field? Because the offensive line does not look like it's going to be very good. Um, you know, they've got running like, very little experience at running back uh, outside of Lang, who had 263 snaps. But Lang wasn't, you know, he was he was okay in spots. Um, but he wasn't a superstar by any any metric. Now, maybe he can be. But we'll see. You know, you give him more time back there, maybe so. On the defense, uh, linebacker Kevon Bennett is the absolute leader of this unit. He is a stud. He's a beast. If he can get everybody else to play the same way that he does, then this team would be unstoppable on defense. But outside of him, there ain't a whole lot of talent. There ain't a whole lot else when it comes to experience either. Uh, again, returning production number 109 on defense. Um the secondary was decent last year, I guess. Number 79 in passing success rate allowed. But when you're 106 in rushing success rate allowed and number 129 in explosive play rate allowed, eh, it, it's not good. Uh, they do return cornerback Sammy Johnson, but they lost three cornerbacks and two safeties, four of those to transfer, one of them to graduation. I would look out this year for Illinois safety transfer Eddie Smith. I think he's going to be a pretty big upgrade for them. I think he's going to be on the field immediately. So watch out for Eddie Smith here. Um, I've got a lot of keys to the season here. You know, my question is, can Butch Jones rebuild this? Like, if you look at his G5 history, remember, he coached at Central Michigan and Cincinnati before he got the Tennessee job. He followed Brian Kelly everywhere. He was he walked into perfectly set up spots. Like, Brian Kelly moved on from those jobs, not because he was doing a poor job, he went from Central Michigan to Cincinnati to Notre Dame. And now he moved on to LSU. Like, Brian Kelly has done a good job everywhere he has gone. He has built a good roster and a good foundation for that program. So Brian Kelly walked into something that was already tailor-made. Can Brian Kelly find a way to build his own foundation? You know, he started the the brick-by-brick brick thing at Tennessee and it looked like it was building okay. You got to a point where he they were ranked in the top 10 in the country at one point in the 2016 season, 17, whatever year it was. I, you know, okay, I guess. I, I just, I'm, I'm very curious what uh, Butch Jones is going to do. Last year looked like the, the full collapse. They had nine straight bowl appearances before that 2020 losing season when Blake Anderson got out of town and went over to Utah State. Again, can it be rebuilt? I'm not totally certain. Uh, Returning production is on the lower end for sure. There is, you know, talent in certain spots. If Jones and the staff can develop the inexperienced guys, then you might be onto something here. You got to fix the turnover margin. That was a killer for him last year, number 95 in turnover margin. They were number 46 in penalties per game, so that's okay. Um, Maybe Blackman staying healthy. Can, uh, can help fix that turnover problem. He only had four interceptions and six games played. Uh, but if you're going to be good, you cannot beat yourself. If you're going to improve this situation from 2-10, and ten, you can't be giving the other team more opportunities. So, uh, 
I don't feel great about them this year. I think they could improve a little bit. They could. It basically we know the old adage, right? Uh, you lose big, then you lose small, then you win small, then you win big. Well, last year they lost pretty big. So now this year, what you might see is them being more competitive in some of these games, but still not being able to get over the hump. I've got them at uh, three and nine. Uh, you know, SP Plus has them four and eight. I don't see them getting to four. But again, you never know with some of these teams. Like, I've got a loss to Texas State. I've got a loss to South Alabama. I've got a loss to Southern Miss, a loss to James Madison, et cetera. Like, could they win one of those? Two of those, even? Yeah. Um, I don't foresee them losing to Grambling State, ULM, or UMass. So, you find three more upsets here, and you're going to a bowl game. So, it's not out of the realm of possibilities, but I, I have them at three and nine, and I... <sighs> I don't feel great about them, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know how much I trust Butch Jones to be able to rebuild this. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.